you can edit or avoid invoices in QuickBooks. We go to our customer center and look, for example, here at Alexandra's account. You can see that there's an invoice, a credit note, and then a further invoice, which upon investigation is actually a duplication of the invoice invoiceable. Now, this invoice hasn't been sent to the customer. We may wish to either edit it or avoid it. It's been sent to the customer. It will be appropriate to do a credit note to counter out the original invoice. But if it's not been sent to the customer, we can bring the invoice back up on the screen. Here's our invoice number 76. We wouldn't want to delete it because that would lose our numbering sequence in our invoices, and 76 would disappear from our invoices that we've got raised. But it's quite possible for us to go to edit and avoid that particular invoice. So if I avoid that invoice, as you'll see it'll bring the amounts here completely to zero. So there's no posting of any amounts anywhere there. And on the memo at the bottom here, it's got void. And I can type here the message in terms of the actual transaction itself with an idea of why I avoided it. And then if I click on save and close, it's asking me whether I want to change the transaction. If I say yes there, you can see that in the account for this particular customer, we've now got invoice number 76, and that's got a zero balance against it. No impact whatsoever on the amount that is owed by this customer to us. So that's voiding an invoice. Again, potentially you may wish to edit an invoice, and again, if it's not been sent anywhere, quite easy to go into an invoice and make a change in the invoice itself and then save that change and then it will record the nature of the change that you've transacted again it asks you the question are you sure you really want to change that and if you say yes that has then updated that invoice and added a particular phrase onto there so that's how you edit or avoid invoices in QuickBooks